Welcome to Kairi's Tutorials, I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be explaining the cutting and the sewing of those three steps splitted skirt and don't be surprised, it's going to be nice on both adults and children. I'll be using two yards of fabric to cut my skirt and all we need is just the fabric, the zipper and your paper stay or your gum stay. So, if this is your first time on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell as well in order to get notification anytime we upload a new video. And don't forget, we upload the cutting and the sewing of our tutorial separately. So, if you're watching the cutting tutorial, there's need to watch the sewing tutorial. And if you're watching the sewing tutorial, there's also need for you to watch the cutting tutorial as well. Right. the full length of my skirt is 17 inches I'm going to cut out a band of 3 inches so I have 14 inches left so the first step of my skirt I'll cut 14 inches the next one I'm going to reduce it by 4 inches that will be 10 inches and the last step I'm also going to reduce that by 4 inches and that will give me 6 inches so here I have 2 yards of fabric this is two yards, so I'll be pleating the two yards. You can decide to use two and a half yards or three yards or more than. But I'll be using two yards to cut mine. So the first step is 14 inches. So all I'm going to do is measure my 14 inches. I'll add my seam allowance of one inch. So that will give me 15 inches. The next one is 10 inches. I'll add my seam allowance. So that will be 11 inches. All right, the full length of my skirt is 17 inches. I'm going to cut out a band of three inches. So I have 14 inches left. So the first step of my skirt, I'll cut 14 inches. The next one, I'm going to reduce it by four inches. That'll be 10 inches. And the last step, I'm also going to reduce that by four inches and that will give me six inches. So here I have two yards of fabric. This is two yards, so I'll be pleating the two yards. You can decide to use two and a half yards or three yards or more than. But I'll be using two yards to cut mine. So the first step is 14 inches. So all I'm going to do is measure my 14 inches. I'll add my seam allowance of one inch. So that will give me 15 inches. The next one is 10 inches. I'll add my seam allowance. So that will be 11 inches. So this is my 11 inches. The next one is 6 inches plus my seam allowance that's 7 inches the next thing I want to cut is the band 
My waist measurement is 28 inches. I'll add my seam allowance, so I'll make it 30 inches. Now, this in two ways. You can um, extend the waist measurement, the band, in such a way that you fix the, your hook and highs. And you can also um, cut out the normal band measurements whereby you fix the zip. The zip extends to the band. So the one I'm going to do now, I don't need my hook and eyes. The zip is going to extend to the band. So 28 inches is my waist measurement. I have plus my seam allowance. And like I said, 3 inches is the band measurement that I want. So I have to fold into 2. And I'm going to add my seam allowance of half an inch. So that will be 3.5 inches. So I'm going to cut it out. Alright, to the band, I'm going to iron my interfix. I'll be using a soft stay to do that. So we'll move to joining the fabrics together. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first step. I'm going to pleat my fabric to the waist measurement, that's 28, and I'll add my zipper allowance to it. So I'll repeat the same to the second step and the third step. So starting with the first step, I'm going to make sure I have my 29, there's going to be 29 inches now. So I'll have my 29 inches. So I have my 29 inches, you have to make sure it is 29. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the, the second step. I'm also going to pleat it, then the third one I'll do the same thing before attaching it to the band. And all the pleats, I'm going to iron it 
one after the other going to iron it out all right All right, I've enjoyed all this. The next thing I'm going to do is to close the edges on my band. Then I'll fix this. I will join it to the um, to the band, starting from the inside. I'm going to join from the inside, then I'll top stitch on the outside.
All right, so the last thing to do is to fix the zip. So I'm going to leave the zip space and I'll join the rest. After that, I'll come back to fixing the zip. All right, so I guess we're almost done. We are left with folding the edge of um, the skirt. And I am not going to fold it. I'll weave and then I'll hem in the edges of each step. So I guess that's the end of our tutorial. This can still go on for a little girl or even for an adult. And if this is your first time on this channel, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment box below. Till I see you next class. Bye.